what about this one? Oh, that happened when you shared your password with your friends. Now, why would you go do that? Your password is private information between me and you, not you and the whole wide world. How can I possibly protect you when that happens? There's no way you know about all that stuff. Well, let's see, there's some mean things here. Nice gorilla face. My PW, so my password is superstar asterisk 863. I'm wearing two different colored socks because YOLO. Oh yes, and that's not just me that knows. The people who know where to look can find everything you've, you've ever sent. It's like all you've done in a book. Passwords are top secret. <clears throat> First aid. You have to really think about what you're doing when you're posting online because that technology tale of yours will follow you through time. You'll end up dragging it around every single day. And believe me, a wounded tail will surely get in your way. Oh, look at that tail following behind her. How? A technology tale that is bruised, scratched, or torn tells others that you are unkind. They won't want to hang out with you because they're afraid of what they may find. denied. Schools will tell you no whenever you try to apply. All the scratches, bruises, and tears on your tail will show them you've made others cry. We only hired gifted technology tails. When employers see holes and wounds, they won't want to hire you. They will assume you're irresponsible online and that you say stuff that's mean and untrue. But look, right now your technology tale is pretty good. You've posted so many great things. If you keep it up, you'll be surprised by the gifts a great tale can bring. Like what? Like a good right now and an even better later and a much happier screen. What's posted today will matter tomorrow. It's just, it, it just isn't all about now. You have to think past the end of your nose and I can show you how. Put on a pair of think gloves before you touch the keys. They'll filter out the stuff that's not good. They look like these. Think. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? How do they work? Ask yourself these five questions. And if you can answer yes, if you honestly can answer yes, then post forward, text, send, and tweet away. You won't even have to guess. Think before you send and think before you post. Probably hear my son Santino playing in the background. He's climbing his fort. If there's an answer to any of those questions ends up being no, let the think love stop your post. Hit delete. It's the best way to go. Always remember you are in charge. You choose what goes on your tail. If you filter your words correctly, your actions will never fail. Say hi, Luca. No, you want to come help me read? Yeah. All right, come on. Then I won't have to worry about the irresponsible mean screen ever again, which will make my life and yours a whole lot better. Luca, say hi. Tell them you're back. Hi. Let's see, I think we're on the last page. What's on your technology? What's on your tail? Technology is awesome. But children sometimes need lots of help managing and using wisely so it enriches rather than wrecks their lives. Here are a few tips to help you guide your children toward creating a healthy digital footprint. Go online with your children and help them navigate social media and other websites. Use this time to explain your expectations and how to respect technology. Luca, before you tweet, do I always read your tweets? What? Exactly. Luca doesn't use social media yet. Monitor online access. By placing the family computer in a central location and limiting the use of smartphones, tablets, laptops, public spaces in the home, set boundaries including time limits, limits on the type of content they may access, and when and where they use their digital devices. Luca, you like to use your iPad, right? Yeah. Unplug and recharge all digital devices. During family routines, such as mealtime and bedtime, if a child uses his or her smartphone as an alarm, replace it with an inexpensive alarm clock. 
tell and continually remind children never to post personal information, home address, passwords, account numbers, phone numbers, etc., on social networking sites. Number five, explain, remind, and reinforce the safety rule. What? Never meet face to face with someone you only know from the internet, and if someone asks to meet you, tell a parent or elder sibling, teacher, or trusted adult. The end of the technology tale. Thanks for listening. Yes. Ready? All right. Ready to say goodbye, Luca? What? This is the camera. Say goodbye, buddy. Bye. What?